Number five, Travis Konechny of the Philadelphia Flyers. After posting 24 goals and 61 points in 66 regular season games, the 23-year-old fell off a cliff in the playoffs. He failed to score a single goal, adding seven measly assists in 16 contests. It's fair to expect a bit of an offensive regression for Konechny in 2021, and for what it's worth, it's not that I don't like the player, it's just that I think it'll be tough to live up to the expectations set forth a season ago. Don't reach on this pick. Number four, Phil Kessel of the Arizona Coyotes. The 33-year-old should have no problem improving upon a stinker of a first season in the desert, but by how much is the real question. Kessel's 38-point output was his lowest in over 10 seasons, while his 14 goals were as few as since his rookie campaign. Quite honestly, I just don't like the fit in Arizona, especially under the defensive-minded head coach in Rick Tockett. I'll look for offense elsewhere on my fantasy roster. Thank you very much. Number three, Alex Petrangelo of the Vegas Golden Knights. Seven years, 61.6 mil. If the pressure of signing that big fat contract isn't enough, the 30-year-old also left the only NHL franchise he's ever known. Similar to Joe Pavelski's start in Dallas, it's only fair to expect some turbulence in the early going for Petro in Sin City. On top of that, I've never really viewed him as an elite-level blue line option in fantasy hockey anyways. For what it's worth, Shea Theodore is a defenseman you should be owning on Vegas' back end. Number two, Patrice Bergeron of the Boston Bruins. How much time will Brad Marchand and David Pasternak miss to start the season? Quite honestly, that's the biggest reason why I'm advising fantasy owners to steer clear of Patrice Bergeron in upcoming drafts. In addition to that, now 35, the future Hall of Famer isn't getting any younger. Could he be subject to load management as the season progresses? Bergeron is eyeing an eighth consecutive 50-point season, a plateau that may be difficult to reach this time around anyways, considering he's missed 10-plus games in each of his past three seasons. And number one, Ben Bishop of the Dallas Stars. For starters, Bishop is expected to miss significant time to start the season due to off-season knee surgery. In fact, it sounds like he may not be ready until mid to late March, well into this fantasy season. In the meantime, Dallas will be in good hands with the freshly re-signed Anton Hudobin and youngster Jake Ottinger backing up. Considering Bishop's injury-riddled past, I fully expect the Stars to be extremely cautious with his rehab. Suffice it to say, look elsewhere for a high-end crease option.